it is net zero, it is passive house, it's all those fancy terms, but really what it means is that it's got its own energy island, it's generating its own electricity, it's super efficient, and it's just the way buildings should be built in the future to make them operably cost-effective and environmentally friendly. The Hotel Marcel is a 165-room hotel. It will be notable for its uh, sustainability features. It is slated to be the first passive house certified hotel in the United States, as well as being the lead platinum certified and one of the first, if not the first, net zero hotel in the United States. We had to pay particular attention to air sealing to keep moisture infiltration to a minimum. We also uh, spent a great deal of time studying the building envelope and how we could insulate it with a combination of different high performance materials, closed cell foam, open cell foam, aerogel tape, aerogel blankets. Spray foam was selected mostly because of the existing facade. There were a lot of jags and, and small corners within the building that needed to be covered completely and continuity is important with Passive House. For Passive House, we're looking for the, the small air leakage that adds up across the whole building. So we actually do pressure as well as depressurization, and we do interim component testing of the windows on the building. To meet net zero standards, we have to produce enough energy on site to meet 100% of the building's energy needs. That's accomplished by having over a thousand solar panels, both on the rooftop as well as on our parking canopies. There's no emissions at all from the operation of the building. Uh, savings in energy actually pays for itself. There's actually a higher rate of return on investment in those systems than there is for the project as a whole. So it actually boosts the return on, on equity investment in the project by embracing these technologies. There also are special sources of financing available. We have a CPACE loan, which is the, is the commercial property assessed clean energy loan that are, uh, most states in the United States have authorized. We're following this path on many of our projects where we're trying to figure out the carbon solutions both on the material side and the operational side. And this project is a great one to show as an example to hit both sides of that coin. It's a simple decision to make. Am I going to build a building that's going to uh, require ongoing combustion of fossil fuels? Or am I going to do my part to, uh, to, to deal with climate change and avoid that? And once you've made that decision, it really uh, is very simple to implement.